कंप्यूटर जेनरेशन हिस्ट्री ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स ऑलमोस्ट फाइव थाउजेंड ईयर्स दबैकस वॉज इन्वेंटेड टू हेल्प पीपल मेक कैलकुलेशन चार्ल्स बैबेज इन्वेंटेड द डिफरेंस इंजन इन एटीन ट्वेंटी टू जॉन एटेंसो एंड बेरी क्रिएटेड द इनिशियल डिजिटल कंप्यूटर्स दैट कुड वर्क इलेक्ट्रॉनिकली हेरमन डेवलप द फर्स्ट डिवाइस ड्रिवेन इलेक्ट्रिकली इन द इयर एटीन नाइंटी द हिस्ट्री ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स मे बी क्लास्ड इन टू फाइव जेनरेशन विथ ईच जेनरेशन लास्टिंग फॉर ए सडन पीरियड द डिफरेंट जेनरेशन इधर ब्रॉड न्यू इन्वेंशन और इम्प्रूव द एक्सिस्टिंग कॉन्सेप्ट हाउ मेनी जेनरेशन ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स और देर देर आर फाइव जेनरेशन ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स दे आर फर्स्ट जेनरेशन सेकेंड जेनरेशन थर्ड जेनरेशन फोर्थ जेनरेशन एंड फिफ्थ जेनरेशन Let us check out one by one. First generation, from the year 1940 to 1956, the era is called the first generation of computers, because during this period when ABC, Atanasov Berry computer was developed and the Colossus built for military use, and the electronic. Numerical integrator and computer ENIAC was developed. The ENIAC weighed around 50 tons and used about 18,000 vacuum tubes to process information. The computers of the first generation had no operating system and could only execute single task. Second generation computers. The second generation of computers ran in the period from 1956 to 1963 the computing machines of this time used transistors rather than the vacuum tubes the universal automatic computer univac 1 was introduced in the year 1951 for commercial use in 1953 ibm or the international business machine came up with the 650 and 700 series of computing devices In the second generation, more than 100 computer programming languages became created. The computers of this era had memory as well as operating system. We also had storage media like disk, tape, and output devices like printers. Third generation. The third generation of computers runs from the period 1964 to 1971. it is in this period that we had the integrated circuit introduced in making computers by replacing transistors fourth generation in the year 1971 the intel developed a chip called intel 4004 which is called a microprocessor this technology replaced the integrated circuits with the microprocessors computers also became small with this generation and they were more powerful and reliable the microsoft disk operating system that is ms dos was introduced in the year 1980 and the personal computer pc was introduced in the year 1981 by ibm for both home and office usage apple came up with the macintosh computer a few years later in the 90s we had the windows operating system being introduced into the world of computers until recently most of computers were regarded as serial computers they had a single processor chip having only one processor parallel computing was born of the idea that a program could run rapidly and efficiently if you had one task being processed simultaneously within multiple processors By 2008 we had laptops and desktops containing more than one processor with a single chip for example the core 2 duo and the core 2 quad fifth generation the fourth generation microprocessors will be replaced by the artificial intelligence in the fifth generation computers but this technology is still under developing stage 
first generation computers from 1940 to 1956 vacuum tubes second generation computers from 1956 to 1963 transistors third generation computers from 1964 to 1971 used integrated circuits fourth generation computers from 1972 to 2010 micro processors fifth generation computers from 2010 artificial intelligence thank you for watching please like share and subscribe